Baby number one is out. Almost all the way out. Nine o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to video this the best I can. I don't know if I was recording a second ago or not. This one's a little orange one. This is her first litter with somebody here with her. Two weeks to the day since we got her. No labor. No, I didn't see the mucus plug come out. I checked her all throughout the day. Nothing, just instant. Hey, little girl. I'm a, I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Are you okay, girl? All over mommy's pillow. It's okay. It's okay. There goes the second one. Oh, she is pretty effortless compared to my marmalade. Second one is out at 904. Oh, this so I can give her some space. Oh, go girl. Oh no girl. Oh no. Hold on. Let me move this for you. Oh. Let's see. There we go. I'm gonna try to block my fan. There you go. Oh Lily. Two orange ones. Two orange ones, girl. Yeah. Oh, little babies. Don't mind me, I'm gonna be taking pictures with my my notes so I can have some photos of this. See, with marmalade, I knew she was going to give birth. She uh, she lost her mucus plug, and before she gave birth, she wandered around and she was screaming, as you guys probably saw from that video. There was no denying it. This one, I was laying down. I opened up the cover. She laid down next to me. She was under the blankets with me, and I, I like started to drowse off, and then I heard that meow, and I was like, oh! Are you okay? And I looked up and she had a leg open and baby one was already out. No time in between. And like, there was nothing. Absolutely nothing. No sign, no nothing. And she's taking it like a champ. That's definitely experienced mommy here. I'm really happy that she didn't run off to have her babies and she obviously wanted to stay close to me because she's gotten quite attached to me since she's been here. And, um... I have various nesting areas set up for her in the bathroom and in the bedroom. There's also under the bed, but she chose to be right here next to me. She obviously didn't want to be alone, and uh, she's been alone for her other two births, so that makes me feel really good. And I'm glad I could be here with her.
to try to comfort her through it, at least for her last litter. I mean, she wasn't even overly meowing or anything. Like she, she's usually very talkative, but she didn't say anything. She wasn't crying. Like I, I'm kind of surprised that there was there was no warning at all. And I'm gonna have to pick up the babies and move them when she's done and go put them in the nesting box so that they're safe and warm and uh, figure out what to do about this bed. Look at the little twins. Are you having another one, girl? I estimate she probably has about six in her because of the fact that her, um, her first, well, her other litters, I think, I think one was six and one was seven, something like that. She's had quite big litters, but she was pretty big. So I, it's always interesting to see how many babies they end up with, you know. But we'll see what she ends up with this time. And uh, what's interesting is, also, she didn't have any orange ones in her other litter, from what I know of. Uh, I have pictures of the other litters, but I don't recall seeing any orange ones. That one feeding already. It's okay, girl. The babies are getting ready to come out. They move so much. There you go, Lily. There you go, Lily. Good girl. Oh, I know. I have my phone on a tripod so that my hands are free, so uh, it's a little bit above and a little bit harder to see. All right, we're back in business. Let's see. Look at all that blood. Oh, it's so bloody. Poor little girl. So I guess that wasn't a baby that I saw that looked like a baby. It was right at her opening and it was a black bubble. It must have just been the the placenta, which I thought she already ate because, you know, she has her head down there. I don't really have a clear view like I did with marmalade. I thought I'd have a clearer view because she's white and she doesn't have long hair, but uh didn't work out that way. But that's okay. As long as the babies are healthy. I'll record what I can, and what I can't, I will just watch. I see her whole stomach moving and rippling. Yeah. Oh, there's a baby right here. Way back here, by her back. And one over here on that side. So that's at least four more in her taking pictures of daddy who's at work. I want to get up and turn the fan off, but I don't want to disturb her if I stand up. I don't want her to try to move or roll over or whatever. There you go. There you go. That is adorable. Okay, good girl. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, she's pushing. It's okay, girl. There you go. It was a little push. <laughs> little, little push. I'm gonna 
big old baby right there. You can you can feel the outline of its body clearly. Contractions again, girl. Okay. All right, I'm trying this out. I did sneak up. Uh, and I turned the fan off. And I turned the big light on. And keeps looking like she's about to push again. They're probably just contractions. There you go. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Uh, baby number three, 956. And it looks like another orange one. Is this going to be a whole litter of orange babies? Just might be. Which is weird because our other two litters were all white. And, um,. These are all orange. Come on, girl. It's okay, girl. Move my tripod a little bit. It's under me, it's not under her, so I just want to try to move it a little bit better. Because she's like right on me. It is soaking wet right on my leg. I've got like kitten juices running down my leg. <laughs> Tell you what, I've never gone through this before, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, here comes another baby. It's okay, girl. I know that was fast. <coughs> That's the noise I went. That one takes after his mommy. And his brother. It's okay, girl. There. <laughs> oh my god, is it another orange one? It is. Wow. Wow. 
So it is, um, hold on. It is 10.09 and baby number four is out and it is another orange one. I know. Hey, you gotta break the sack. There you go. I think that me and Josh missed Little Pumpkin a little too hard. <laughs> I remember thinking, I oh, hope she has at least one orange one. I miss Pumpkin. And, uh... She's had an entire litter of orange ones. <laughs> I think that was the one that was on her side. Oh, you, you picture blocked me, girl. It feels like she might have one more in her. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not gonna make her stand up or anything, but uh kind of kind of feels like there might be somebody on her side. This was the one that was just up on her side. Is there somebody else up there, girl? Oh, yeah, she's got one on the side still. There's still there's still a baby over here. At least another one. <laughs> it's so cute having these little little baby. Kitty cats are asleep next to my leg. There's not going to be any way for me to tell them apart and to know who came out first because there's no visible markings that I could use to pinpoint right now. They're just all orange. The one had stripy arms, but now there's another one with stripy arms, I'm sure. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's the afterbirth. I'm going to feel so bad having to move her, but I cannot um, let them sit in all this goo. Sorry to hear me breathing. I'm trying to breathe out of my mouth because it smells really bad. <laughs> it smells like musk and <clears throat> just fluids. Uh. Where's your other baby? This is one missing. I think it's on the other side of her. Hmm. There's the baby. She is going to give birth to that placenta all over my leg. There's the placenta. That one came out pretty easy. 
It didn't seem to hurt her like the last one did. This is a part where people think that the cats are eating their babies, but they're not. It's just a sack of the nutrients and all the all that good stuff, the umbilical cord and everything. Comes another baby. It's okay, girl. I oh, know that was fast. That's a noisy one. That one takes after his mommy and his brother. It's okay, girl. There. Oh my god, is it another orange one? It is. Wow. Wow. The baby hasn't moved yet. Oh, well, maybe there's more. I don't know. I definitely feel one over there. There might be somebody right here. I'm not sure. All right. Still no baby yet. It is 10.42, and I, I definitely feel somebody right here. This is the baby right there, and um, I can't feel her other side, obviously, but there's, there's somebody right there. There you go, girl. And it looks like... Uh, there's definitely one that's got longer hair than the rest, and that's number four. Number one, I think, one of the first ones she's put against my leg here, which is under her head. And that one hasn't moved from my side, which is pretty cool because um, Josh just called me. And like I was saying, the first thing that they're going to know and, you know, remember or whatever, aside from her, is my scent because they were born right beside me and they were put right up against my body and um they might not be able to hear or see but they have you know their sense of smell and my scent is all over all this stuff and uh, so she's obviously not concerned about getting you know my human stench all over her babies I'm just waiting now for the last one said that her her skin's her stomach's still pulsating over here. The baby's trying to kick its way down. It is moving, though. Her, um, her old owner had said that uh, both of her other litters had seven. And there was one orange in each litter. And this time... I had estimated at least five. 
I wasn't sure. I thought one litter had seven and one had six, but I think one had died, and that's why I think it, I thought it was six. But um, I did estimate. I, I think I actually told Josh that I thought she would have six babies, at least six. That's that is what I said. But um, feeling her stomach, I knew there was four, and there'd be at least one more, if not more than that. Oh yeah, see, yeah, there's somebody on this side, and there's somebody over here. So it looks like she's getting close to pushing that one out so yeah definitely six maybe seven I remember she had a baby up in between her arms like I could feel it like around her armpit because she uh she does this thing where she lays on my chest and she just puts one paw one arm on each side of my neck and she hugs me and then she rests her face against my face and so there, I could feel all her babies. I could feel them moving, and I could feel them kicking on my body and with my hands. And uh, I've had great front row seats, too. All the movement going on in there. Oh, her paw is shaking. Poor girl. It's almost over. Almost over. Oh, the baby's almost coming out. There you go. Baby number five is about to come out. Okay, girl. It's another orange one. Okay. Good girl. That one hurt her a lot. Poor baby. You couldn't see it, but from this angle she uh squirted a whole bunch of brown fluid out with that one did not like it at all baby five was born at 10 54 a.m she's got her juices all the way over here next to me i know oh look at that poor little face you're almost done girl Oh, there's a baby right there, right here. I wonder if that's the one from the other side that's moved over here or not. That one's almost ready to come out. You can see it in her side, right there. It's okay, Lily. It's moving fast. Ooh, look at her side rippling. Look at that. All right here. It's pushing that baby out real quick. The baby's moving really fast. It's right here. Right, come on, just have one of a different color. Just one. <laughs> just to make things interesting. The orange gene is strong with this one. <laughs> the orange daddy really left his mark. Oh yeah, the babies just went right, right down. Oh, 
You know, the baby is real close. Can't wait for this to be over for her. And she can relax. Okay, Lou. Look at your baby moving. Look at that. I'm going to record with this phone too so I can get it better. Because this is almost over. Almost over, girl. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Baby number six. Baby number six was born <clears throat> at 11.05 a.m. At least that one wasn't too, too bad for her. See the baby right there. There was a big old contraction there on her side.
there you go. Baby number five is about to come out. Okay, girl. And it's another orange one. It's okay. Good girl. That one hurt her a lot. Poor baby. Mm, it's okay. Okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Baby number six. We've got six orange babies right now. Are you finished? Are you done? Look at this mess on my bed. All over my bed. I feel special. <laughs>